In this podcast, we're going to be looking at how to record a voiceover for your presentation and then export it for use on the web, emailing it to colleagues or sharing with students. So to record a voiceover, um, all you need to do is go to the file menu and choose record slideshow. As you can see, it launches your keynote and it has the record icon in the upper left hand corner. So now you would present your presentation as if it were to a live audience. Hi and welcome to Keynote. In this um, lesson we're going to learn about getting bullets to appear one at a time, animating objects and just making your presentations more interesting. Now before we start that I just wanted to show you a fish I caught over the holidays. Okay so I've pressed escape to exit and what, th and what that has done is it's recorded my voiceover so if I click play And it's recorded your presentation, including the timing of that presentation. So, if you are unhappy with what you recorded, you can just simply go to Clear Recording from the File menu. Click on that and then click Clear. I was quite happy with it, so I'm going to click Cancel. Now, to export this as a QuickTime movie, all you have to do is go to the File menu, Export, and make sure Recorded Timing is selected. You can get it to enter full screen mode when opened. And here you can choose the format. I always choose full quality. And I choose to include the audio and also the slideshow recording. Then click next. You can um, save it wherever you'd like. I'm going to do it to the desktop. And then I'm going to click export. As you can see, you can view the progress of the exporting using that little preview window. And now that's done, I can double click it. And it launches in QuickTime, just like a regular movie. We can play back a bit of it. As if it were to a live audience. Hi and welcome to Keynote. In this um, lesson, we're going to learn about getting bullets to appear one at a time, animating objects, and just making your presentation Okay, so it's that easy. Now you could email this file to a colleague, you can drag it into your iWeb, you can upload it to YouTube. Um, in terms of sharing it from Keynote again, under the Share menu, there's some really convenient ways of sending it straight to iDVD for burning, to iPhoto, to iTunes, iWeb, GarageBand. If you've got a YouTube account, you can actually send it um, straight there. So you just need to enter your account username and password select categories etc, click next and it will upload that for you to YouTube. 